Hi guys, it's Jay here from Born to Produce on ADSR and today we're going to have a very quick look at Steinberg's Chord Pads feature which is a really amazing addition to Cubase 8 and 8.5 and it's for people that are not too sure which chord should come next in the progression so if you're not too hot on your music theory, let's see what it can do. So I've just loaded up an empty template here and as you can see Media Bay now loads up automatically. If you don't see this racks window here just go to the top left hand corner of your screen and make sure racks is ticked there so in 8.5 there's now a new way of creating a vst instrument just make sure media bay is highlighted and instruments and we're going to use pad shop pad shop factory and i'm just going to type in strings and let's just go with big warm strings just double click that and that will automatically create me an instrument track with that preset already loaded so it's quite a good little time saver there and as you can see I've got my keyboard or PC keyboard activated which is alt and K if you want to toggle between the two if you want to use your MIDI keyboard obviously turn that off and use your MIDI keyboard but um, I'm just going to use my PC keyboard for this it's just a basic demonstration <laughs> Gonna turn that down. Okay, so we've got a basic pad sound. Let's have a look at chord pad. A few ways to turn this on. You can now come down in 8.5 to the bottom of the screen and click that button there, and it comes up, which is quite handy. Um, you can come up to project and go to chord pads that way, or also the shortcut is control, shift, and C. So here are your chords at the bottom, you can just click them with your mouse. And you've already got some lovely sounding chords there which are already programmed in for you. Obviously when you click each pad up on the piano roll you can see which notes are actually in that chord. So we're going to get straight into the chord assistant which I find is an absolutely superb tool. So click this little icon here and it automatically brings up um, a load of chords around your root note which is the one in the middle which in this case is C and you can do it in a circle of fifths formation or proximity. As you can see. So I'm just going to right click B minor to assign it to the pad and also use as origin. So now my B minor is my root chord and I've got all the related chords uh, going out in a proximity effect. Um, the more complicated the chord is the more further out it is but they are all usable and it's an extremely useful way of just getting some nice chord progressions. So you can quite easily come up with some really lush sounding, I don't know, like film scores or something like that. So you can either record these in with your MIDI keyboard or you can just simply copy the chord structure onto your instrument track. And there we have B minor. And of course you can mess around with these by adding in sevenths and ninths and all, all sorts. So that's it for the basic overview. There's a lot more you can do with Core Pad than just that, but this is just a whistle stop tour of this, this fantastic function from uh, Steinbase, Cubase 8 and 8.5. Don't forget to check out the videos on Born to Produce at ADSR, where we cover things in a lot more detail. You'll also find start to finish tutorials like making a complete track from start to finish. 
So thanks for watching guys, I'm Jay from Born to Produce and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers then, ta -da.